Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. He's Mike Brenner. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is uh, Monday, August 1st, Ooh. and uh, we are continuing our uh, preseason coverage of college football. Big, the Big 12 conference preview is what we're going to do right now. Of course, we uh, only have 10 teams here in the Big 12. This is an interesting conference, right, Mike Brenner? It sure there is. There is some uh, some massive strong, massive, just massive strength in this conference. Obviously, offensively, of course, uh, Oklahoma made it to the college football playoffs uh, last year. You also have Kansas and, uh, you know, Iowa State and uh, those kinds of teams as well. So uh, it's an interesting conference. Big, big offensive conference, big disparity between the top teams and the bottom teams. And, uh, and you know, there's a lot a of big drama going yeah, off. And, and drama. <laughs> and added drama. So, um, yeah, where would you want to start? Let's hit us with your first thought for the upcoming Big 12 season, Mike. Wow. Jones. Well, I just think, obviously, experience and, and, and Stoops and his, his mm -hmm. you know, his experience with that squad, I think it's a no-brainer why they're a favorite. I think Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and TCU is pretty fair to say they're the top three. I think number four and five might have a little something coming to them, and I think that West Virginia might take advantage of that. Um, I, I just don't know, Pete. I see Baylor plus 800 to win the Big 12. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that stat is correct. You like Baylor? Um, no, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay. They're only returning nine starters, okay? And you got all the Art Bryles drama. Yeah. And I know that that's a recruiting team. They're very good. They're solid. But this is a huge wrench in the wheel, sure. and I really think it's going to have an effect, and I'm going to look to fade Baylor are pretty early as a result. And the other one I think is a no-brainer for me to fade is Texas. All right, mm -hmm. Charlie Strong is really? on his way out. Yeah, they, they're not going to give the guy a, a lot more chances. All right, his record speaks for itself. He's 11 and 14 in his first. He's already has the alumni screaming. Mm -hmm. He's got to see the door. Yeah, the pressure is going to be so heavy on him yeah. that I think he's going to press, 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 and I look to fade them. So they're kind of well. like the USC of the Big 12. They're, they always have talent, though. They always, always have, have talent. talent. Yeah, right. absolutely. Always seem to underachieve, though. Exactly. But look at Star Sarkis. And you had yeah. the Lane Kiffin drama. Here's another team. So how do they, you know, Texas, I think, going to be replacing the coach. If if not halfway through the season, mm -hmm. I think definitely at the end of the year. But I think Texas is a little overrated, believe it or not. You think so? Yeah, I think See, they're going to be overvalued. They might be, just because people have seen them uh, struggle recently and underachieve recently. I, don't, I mean, they have a great running back tandem, right? Yes, they have they, a, they have a freshman quarterback who... You know, looks like he could be great. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's a big question mark. It's a big if. The defense was bad last year, but it should be at least a little bit better this year. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, if they might actually be a little bit undervalued because people understand, because people expect them to be a team yeah. that just doesn't really get it done. No, you could be right there. And on most circumstances, and they have a new offensive coordinator. And that's, but that's another thing too. With that new offensive coordinator, here comes a, a learning curve. Not just for the, the, mm -hmm. it's the best thing for the quarterback coming, right, in, right. but you also have returning starters on the offense. They're going sure. through this. Sure, again. Yeah. That's going to take time. I don't know. I may be wrong, Pete, but no, I just right. don't I mean, know that yeah. Charlie Strong was the man for the job It's here. definitely interesting. It, there's a lot of questions and the, the big question is uh, where will they be priced in their games? Will sure. they be getting yeah. line respect or not? And uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about TCU, though, the Horn Frogs. What do you yeah. think of their legitimacy as this team can really contend? Yes, I am I am, I am. am vaguely. Well, TCU is, is obviously uh, an interesting team because they have a, a ton of returning strength on defense yes, and a ton do. of uh, rebuilding on offense. In general, I am feeling vaguely high on TCU because we yeah. saw what they did, uh, you know, in the bowl game last year, even when all their offensive stars Absolutely. were out. Absolutely. Uh, the defense is obviously the core of, 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 uh, of this team always, and this year it should be strong. The defense is usually best when it's experienced, and it is experienced um, this year. And then the offense, you know, it's a massive rebuild, yes, but they should, have, you know, they, they should have, you know, they should have, you know, Playmakers on offense, they'll have to figure things out on quarterback. The offensive line is going to have to be good. Obviously, if the rebuilt offensive line completely flops, that's a big negative. Sure. My sense is that they'll be able to figure it out roughly one way or another enough on offense to have a good team and that the defense will be strong and that more likely than not there'll be a team that I'm going to be looking to bet on. That could, Obviously, there's a lot of question marks. Yeah. As of right now, I'm vaguely high on TCU. Do you yeah. agree with that or not? I, I do agree with that, and I also am going to be looking at some unders because of the strength of their mm -hmm. defense. I think they're going to hold teams uh, pretty much locked down on offense. I think they're stronger than people know. I think that could be an under-the-radar defense that can cash some tickets. Yeah. Also, I like West Virginia. All right, mm -hmm. They should have a big offense, all right? mm -hmm. and the coach is in the hot seat, so this team has to produce. All right, they've got eight defensive starters that are gone, so their defense is going to suffer. But I like West Virginia's offense to cash some tickets on some team totals. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. looking at that in depth, and I think that's going to be a nice little avenue of profit this year. Pistol yeah, Pete. I mean, Holgerson is normally a guy who, uh, you know, is, has a pass-happy pass happy yes. game plan. Not always, though. Sometimes he goes back to running, but, yeah, the offense looks like whether they're running or passing should be strong this year. So you're looking to bet on West Virginia team yep. total overs? 
I sure am. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And then uh, here, here's another team that I'm that I'm thinking about. I'm, okay. I'm just I'm just thinking about this right now. Kansas State, usually a team that uh, mm -hmm. is undervalued, right? Uh, Bill Snyder gets, obviously, we've seen this year in and year out, uh, more out of uh, his teams than the sum of their parts. And they're always a dangerous team to, uh, to upset, always a dangerous team to bet against as a big yes. underdog. But, but what? he's getting a little old there. He he's is. getting a little on in years. And um, I'm not, obviously, every year, Kansas State's at a, a, a talent disadvantage, right? They yes. are going to be at a talent disadvantage again this year. I'm not sure that the energy is going to be uh, with this team. We saw last year. A reversal for Kansas State, right? They last year they did very well against uh, the lower tier teams where they outclassed them in talent. But when they stepped up in class, they didn't do well, which yeah. was not the, the norm for for Kansas when they were really uh, when Bill Snyder had them uh, overachieving. And I'm thinking we might see sort of the same thing this year. Uh, they might be a team that actually might be a good fade against the top teams, and that Snyder uh, retires after this year. Absolutely, because we got to remember this: they pulled this guy out of retirement several yeah. years ago, and what he did was no short, nothing short of miraculous. But he is getting a step older. Yeah. I mean. Another year older, Pete, and I'm just telling you, that is huge. And the, another thing, this is a total rebuilding year yeah. for the secondary. Yeah. Their secondary is going to get torched early on. Right. All right, this defense is in trouble. Their quarterback's hurting. I couldn't agree more. Unf I love the guy, but you got to right. fade this team. Yeah. And, and the early. offensive line has to be rebuilt. So exactly. Now you're going in the Big 12 with, uh, you know, and issues at, 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 you know, in the past defense, yeah. right, and issues on the offensive line Spells where you're going to get beat, and yep. you're at a you're at a general uh, talent disadvantage, uh, you know, and you don't have your coach working his magic, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. it might be a down year for Kansas State. ATS, I think so too, and it's probably going to be his last year. But that secondary, the way it's being rebuilt and defined, and what I've learned about it, it's going to be a while before they even think about gelling. So you may want to look at some overs and uh, look at some team total unders for this team. Yeah, that's what I'm suggesting. I'm looking to I maybe know I'm to maybe it. just fade them, and then uh, yeah. let's just wrap it up. Texas Tech, an interesting team, always a, uh, always. a very exciting team. Yeah. Huge offense, awful defense. So you know they got a good quarterback, but that's about it. it. They got Patrick Mahomes in there. Yeah, and, and my 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 big uh, thing here is uh, Mahomes really makes their offense go right, he does. And, and and that's great. If he goes down, though, it's fade. a huge loss, huge. and I think, yeah, huge. I think we fade them. This is yeah. not the kind of team that's like TCU where they can, like, weather offensive losses to their stars and exactly. still, you know, cover games and exactly. beat top teams somehow one way or another. Read a quote from another coach yeah. that if you want to beat that team, the way to do it is target their quarterback because after <laughs> him there's not a lot else. Yes. I'm not kidding you. Yes. That's no, just I said. Know. So I'd, I think that's just sharp betting information. Sweep the leg, Johnny. That's how you beat it. That's how you beat <laughs> Texas <laughs> Tech. Be. All right, so that's our preview for the Big 12. Let's, sum up. Let's just sum up a little bit. So let's yeah. look to fade Texas Tech if Mahomes goes goes down. Yes. We're a little bit split on Texas. You're vaguely looking to fade them. I'm uh -huh. looking for them to maybe be a little bit undervalued. TCU we're both high on. Is that yep. correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think Phelan Baylor also. Yes. Fade and Baylor. Fade and Baylor. Kansas State we're both looking to fade. Huge. And uh, and West Virginia you're you're vaguely high on. Yes, I am. Look Like the offense. Think Sounds they're going to do some work. Sounds good. Tune in to our uh, upcoming uh, uh, college football previews. I don't even know what we're going to be doing. I guess more yeah. conference previews. And of course, when the season starts, game previews and picks. Right, That's Mike right. And don't forget about OCDpicks.com. That's where Pistol Pete and I put our not only football and college and so forth, but we got WNBA, Canadian football, everything else, free picks. Check it out. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.